spotlight. Sonia is here with us. She'll be focusing on Interglobe Aviation, which operates Indigo Airlines. This is after the company brought in a new fuel charge on fares. Sonia, tell us more. So, you know, uh, this fuel charge has been reintroduced by Interglobe Aviation. If you remember a couple of years ago as well, after the ATF prices surge, Interglobe Aviation had come out with a fuel surcharge. Now, this time around, the same thing has played out. Because of the surge in ATF prices, Interglobe has said that now, uh, based on the um, distance that you travel, there will be an additional fuel surcharge you'll have to pay. The maximum fuel surcharge will be up to 1,000 rupees. Uh, this will be effective from today, that is from October 6th. And it will be across routes, uh, you know, in the domestic market, domestic and in the international uh, routes as well. Uh, now, this is important for Interglobe Aviation because if you look at the way ATF prices have gone up, just in the month of October, ATF prices were hiked by 5%. And this is the fourth consecutive month of a hike that you've seen in ATF prices. So they need to pass on this, uh, you know, fuel cost to the consumer in order to maintain their profitability. The other positive, of course, is the fact that crude oil prices have cooled off, which will be a big po a positive for them in the quarters to come. And then you have travel that has picked up in a big way because of events like the World Cup, etc. So all of these triggers put together has brought, you know, got the stock quite active this afternoon. Back to you. Oh, thank you very much uh, for that. Uh, let's also focus on one of the key policy